Hello chums, it's a community update. Full disclosure, I thought today was Thursday because frankly in this kind of a world all the days blur into one. Turns out it's Friday. Well, I'm living in a city that's just been locked down again thanks to the global pandemic. I've got a glass of wine and no reason to live. Let's get into it. The most exciting news of the Fortnite is Mantic's series of teaser videos, which appears to announce a new naval game set in the Kings of War universe. There's not much to go on yet except that Basileon and Orcs are involved, but suffice to say, I'm so excited I actually had a dream last night that Rob Berman came and showed me the game in my house. Except he kept throwing dice on the floor and confided he doesn't get out much because he's kept a prisoner in his own home. I'm hoping it's an omen that means he's going to send a preview copy to his favourite YouTube community news update person very soon, so I can talk about it endlessly on this channel. I mean, practically tens of people watch this nonsense, why wouldn't you? In other news, handsome, handsome Karl Preslinski broke his YouTube silence with semantic new release news. And as a side note, I must get him to tell me how he does those cool titles because mine are balls. They're largely Vanguard related with some sweet new Goblin and Ogre war bands, but Ogre players will be deeply excited, assuming they can stop breaking things around their houses long enough to read a whole sentence, to see the upgrade kits for Siege Breakers, which means they can finally start using those bloody GW shields. The Global Painters of Panathor project, and by global I, I mean the US and a couple of Brits, has posted an update. It's lovely to see the hobby progress, and there's absolutely no reason that the people who have just done bases should feel in any way inadequate compared to the guys who've painted practically a whole freaking army in a month. Speaking of whole armies, Andy Birds' Blackjack Legacy Slow Grow Challenge has completed its run. He challenged his viewers to complete a 2000 point army over... a year? Was it Was it a year? Oh who knows, time is frankly meaningless. In any case, there's a lovely thread of people's completed armies, far too many for me to pick out individual examples, and I'm very proud of all of you. Even you, you weirdo. Mike has updated the resources page on Until Somebody Loses an Eye with some natty resources for 3rd edition Kings of War that you might find of use. Even shouts out YouTube channels and podcasts he likes, and that's the real reason I'm including it here, because my ego is that easily flattered. It's pathetic, really. I found this really cool thread on the Kings of War forums, where a player called Needlefang123 started an army thread for his Night Stalkers back in December 2019. They've been keeping it steadily updated, and it's a neat way to track army progress and development over the months. Back in the murky, dirty world of Facebook, Jonas Skinner posted these flame bearers up to Kings of War fanatics. It's a simple colour scheme, but I really like what he's done with the bases, and it's not bad at all for some of his first units for Kings of War. Keep it up! Harry Fox posted these neato forest shamblers that he made out of tinfoil. Tinfoil! That's great. I don't know how the bloody hell he did it, but good on ya. Mark Me posted this photo of his first Kings of War army to a local group near where I live. Now, Looking at first armies, it's clear this is not Mark's first rodeo, but I can't wait to see him as part of the Kings of War scene. Frankly, anyone who's got the patience to glue together that many Metal Forest Shamblers deserves respect. Check out Sean Dietrich's Knuckers, which I found in the Trident Realm subgroup. And when I say check out, what I mean is admire the lovely paint job, then throw up in a bucket and write a strong letter of complaint to Wrath of Kings who made them. I love the Wing It model. I like it so much I don't even mind its rules are unrelentingly broken. But I hard love James McCann's Spitfire-inspired goblin spit-roast paint job. Just bloody look at that! Well, that's it for this fortnight. I'm off to have more sexy dreams about Rob Berman rolling dice in my house. Rob, Rob, send me boats. Rob, Rob, send, Rob, Rob, uh, Rob. <laughs>